Yes, Chief. Yes. Okay. Okay. Hey, Santos, uh, this is Chief Engineer. Yes, Chief. Uh, are you preparing for your arrival? Yes, Chief, yes, I'm preparing. Uh, remember BWTS? Yes, Chief, I do. Uh, well, I suggest uh, to clean the quartz plus and uh, have a general inspection of the chamber before arriving U.S. bearers. Uh, okay, Chief. My chief told me to clean the quartz glass because uh, you need to understand that um, this particular system uh, needs to have a UV lamp, like which is actually the heart of this particular system because uh, the ballast water is treated using the help of UV lamp. Okay, so this particular UV lamp is held within a quartz glass through which the light is emitted. Okay, so it is obvious that. Uh, if the quartz glass is dirty, the emitted light that is transferred through this quartz glass is going to be less. I mean, the intensity of the light is going to be less. Whereas if the glass is clean, the light emitted uh, by the lamp, which is going to pass through this particular quartz glass, the intensity is going to be good. Okay, so this is the basic reason why we need to often do uh, maintenance on the quartz glass and keep it clean. And especially uh, when we are calling US ports. To be frank, I don't, you really don't know how much the sensitivity uh, limit to be maintained at US water and non-US water. Okay, so first of all, let's go and check that.
I wish to add you that uh, uh, quartz glass alone doesn't determine the intensity of the lamp. Of course, the lamp itself is a sole source, you know, for actually primarily to be considered. If the lamp is at the end of its life, then obviously the intensity is going to be less. Okay, so that is one reason. Uh, for not achieving the intensity. So what I mean to say is the cleanliness of the quartz glass alone doesn't determine the intensity of the light emitted through this UV lamp. First of all, the lamp needs to be at a good life. And other than that, the water that which we are going to treat, it should be clean. If the water is dirty, obviously the intensity will never reach. I mean, if the water is muddy or WDD is more, then obviously you can never do anything. It's like act of God, you know. Uh, so then last but not the least, the sensor which sensors the sensitivity, if that is bad or if that is dirty, then also the sensitivity will be less, you know. Uh, respective of your lamp is good, glass is good, I mean the quartz glass is good, even if the water is good, if all three are good, but if your sensor which sensors the sensitivity, if that is bad, then obviously your sensitivity will never be reaching the required value or the required limit as said by the IMO and USCG standards, you know. So this is what all I wanted to share. So thanks for watching.